Hey everyone, now I'm back in the garage with a server where I recently um, set up the LACP link. So I thought what I'll do is I'll install this USB uh, cart here so I can put a whole bunch of RTL uh, SDR stuff in there. So that's what I'm going to do today. Right, I've just taken this out from the back, which is just a, a blanking panel for the rack, where I had an RF amp for the TV antenna, and that just fed the five TV adapters, which were all plugged into the onboard USB. And I was powering that 12 volt amplifier just from the internal power supply of the computer. So what I did a while ago was put this little 12 volt DC jack here, which just goes to the 12 volt power supply to power the thing from out here. And there's my dual NICs that I was talking about in the last video, and the one I don't use on board. So I'm going to pull this out now and put that card in. Alright, I've just taken the server out of the rack. So I'll dig into it and put the card in. This is the DC power connector powered from the normal um, power supply connector inside here. And I've got a spare one right here which I'm going to use to power this USB card. Which is going to go right here. Alright, put the power in there. Put that thing in. Screw it down. I'll give this thing a clean with the air while I've got it out, even though it's nowhere near as dirty as one that was in the um, bedroom near the carpet. But while I'm here, won't do any harm. Okay, now the server's back up and running, and it's got those extra USB ports, because uh, this is some of the crap that I'm going to put in there. So I'll just show you what I've got here. One thing that happened when I put the server back in there was the LACP link didn't come up. It was doing all sorts of funny things. and. As usual, with any fault that you ever have to fault find, when something was working and it suddenly stops working, you think, what's changed? So what's changed is I put that card in. And by putting that card in, it's changed the numbering of the existing uh, network devices. So what was EMP 5SO and 6SO is now 6 and 7. So I had to change the config here on the server to bring that LACP link back up again. Okay, this is what I had there before. It's the 5 TV card, so I can stream all the TV channels at once. And they're fed from a um, TV antenna through the amplifying splitter here. And that's powered off that 12 volt DC connector that I showed you before. I've also got this um, satellite DVB receiver. And uh, that was running in the lounge, but I'm going to run some cable from the satellite dish to this area here so I can run that. Um, the Hack RF, now this probably won't be installed over here because that tends to be mobile with me. And I use that a lot on the other computer when I'm playing with things. So that probably won't come out here. This is an old, uh, not SDR receiver, just a computer controlled ICOM receiver here. So that just has a USB to serial port adapter here that I'll run there just for something to do. And of course we've got a thousand of these RTL dongles here with various um, splitters, filters, amplifiers and that sort of thing. Um, speaking of RF, I've also got this uh, Y-Spy DBX. But, um, that's not really something that I use in this one area here. That's more of a tool that goes with me to places. So I probably won't have that out here, but it's just some RF stuff that I got. And on the roof, I've got some antennas here. This is a, a 1090 antenna for the um, uh, ADB, uh, ADSB, <laughs> get it right. The uh, aircraft signal stuff that comes, comes down, I can grab with that antenna. If I choose to actually put that up, I'm not sure if I will or not, because I can receive it fine on the existing disc cone. And I've also got this satellite antenna, so that's for like Inmarsat and Iridium and other stuff. So these are going to be connected down here at some point. Okay, so that's the rough idea of it. But what I'm thinking of doing today, or soon, is putting um, the SDR stuff like this on the other side of this blanking panel here where I've got the TV tuners. So it's something like that, and just mount them in there somehow so that'll all be one unit for that kind of RF stuff, and that'll just slap back on the back behind the server. So I'll see what I can do with this. All right, I've put the TV server back on here. You can see that's plugged into those five USB um, sockets here. For now, though, all I've got in this card that I just put in is a single SDR dongle connected to a fucking set of rabbit ears in the garage. So this is a long way from done, but that's about all I can do at the moment. All this stuff's going to have to wait. So the ICOM receiver, well, that could probably go up now, but um, the satellite DVB receiver, I have to wait till I get some cable and then run that to the satellite dish and I'll put that where the TV cards are. All this SDR stuff, I'm going to get another blanking panel here which I'll have to order and wait for and then do something similar to this. I'll just bolt them to it in such a way that it's all kind of there and then put that on the back as well. So I'm waiting for a few things. I'm waiting on cable from the disco antenna that'll go down to most of those SDR receivers. I'm waiting on some more cable for the um, satellite receiver antenna 
to go to that SDR receiver. I'm waiting on some cable to go from the TV satellite dish to go to that receiver. And when I've got them, I'll do another video where I connect them up and they're going to go through one of these um, little wall plates here. So the cables will just come out here and then feed up into it. So that'll have to wait until I get that, um, that stuff. So until then, or until next time, take it easy.